What is going on guys, today we are looking at Kudus, the Ghanaian special card that is 83 rated. He did, or does start as a cam um, in terms of his natural position once you pack him, and he is obviously in the air Eredivisie for Ajax. So it's quite, again, a nice little uh, pairing. We've now got um, obviously two player of the months for Eredivisie. We also have Sangria, Sangria? I want to say it's how the Ivory Coast PSV CDM. We have Tadic in form. We also have Berghoist on the right wing. We have an in-form centre mid and Gravenbach as a road to the knockout. So we're starting to now see quite a nice, uh, well-rounded um, Eredivisie team. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what this guy can do. Because obviously at the minute we have Till as the cam in terms of, in terms of our Eredivisie team. Whether we get an icon swap for a Ghanaian team, very, very unlikely. I don't think they go that specific with uh, nations but obviously we would be looking at him for the league requirements a four star three star he has started the game with a what rating a 77 gold rare so again let's have a look at the upgrade of what we've got so he's had a minus three on his pace but a seven on shooting four on defending six on the physicality uh, on the dribbling five on the physicality and a plus 15 on his passing so Again, not necessarily a bad upgrade, and I think they've definitely done relatively well with a lot of these upgrades. There's a couple of um, rule breakers that I'm thinking I'm not overtly happy with in, in terms of I feel like they could have done better. Casemiro comes to mind as the first one, but I think he's relatively nice, this card. So let's jump into him then. So in terms of chemistry style... I think we're going to have to be looking at that Hunter, if anything. It would give him 86 shooting and 95 pace, turn him into an 89 rated cam. And to be honest, not a bad card overall. 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. You'd also get the 90 finishing as well as 87 positioning and also 89 uh, shot power. But less of the statistics. Let's jump into him. We've got great agility balance. We've got good composure for an 83. We've got great ball control and dribbling. Stamina's looking okay at 85. Great short and long pass off the base there with good vision as well. So I think he is uh, not necessarily kind of like a maybe a, a cheap beast, but I think in Air Vizier standards, quite a nice cam. So let's jump into him and see what Kudus can do for us for just 21,000 coins. Kudus straight on the ball. Very, very interested to see how this guy does. He seems to be a relatively nice card that, that's coming in quite cheap for obviously the the kind of the, the minor leagues. And again, maybe not looking in terms of main team or, or kind of like starting XI, but most definitely kind of more of an Eredivisier icon swaps. As we know that that one definitely will happen. Um, I feel like the ones you're guaranteed is definitely like the Portuguese league you're definitely looking at the the Turkish league and obviously Netherlands so I think for me the more you can get in your club now is is kind of better because then you're not necessarily having to fully be concerned over it and you know you've got a team fully in there we're looking for Kudos here waiting for him to just pop himself outside the box a little inside okay maybe not he's kept the ball though there it is. Goes with a finesse and already managing to absolutely slap it. Kudus having some nice ball control, really close control as well, which is always fantastic. Going to just knock a ball over the top and Zaha is not going to do it. And again, with Kudus as well, just kind of staying on him whilst we're here, is that you've got a nice link in party. Obviously, you can have a lovely strong link in Essien. I oh, really wanted to get it back to him. Why I didn't go on the floor? But I think you've got two lovely kind of centre mids there to kind of prop him up as the cam. And the one thing with as well, party and Essien, is the fact they're both kind of more... Not necessarily even defensive mids, but they're not necessarily as attacking as Kudos seems to be presenting himself. We can see him constantly being involved in that middle there. So a very nice start to him. And I think with that, it is always nice because you got less pressure on somebody who is on the cheaper side of stuff. He's not necessarily fully needed. That was almost not always uh, needed to, to kind of bang out a 300, 400k player. Sometimes it's nice to have these 50k, 20k players that surprise you a little bit and not always not is not always going to be the best in the business in terms of that but I like to kind of use these different players to, to kind of see if they've got anything to give us. Furlan Mendy is a prime example for a player who is not necessarily considered rating incredible, but in terms of playing, is probably one of the best left backs we've had for numerous amount of years so far. Kudas looking for the run. Oh, Virgil's going to step in. Doesn't necessarily have the beating of him. 
Kudus. It's gone for the chip across. I thought he would bring him out. I really kind of uh, shot my shot a bit early in that one. Oh, he's gone for it. Can we get the chest? Oh, he gets the chest, but Walker's going to be there to make that tackle. And he's managed to just make him look silly, really. Oh, but he nearly lets a rifle off outside the box. Kudus. Going to make him think he's going one way and Rudik is just going to mop up. And Kudos. We, we went for it. We was trying to do a review on something else, but we managed to get Kudos getting the goal again. Oh, Zaha finds Kudos. He's going to look for the tackle. Goes across. Rudiger just getting the block. It was almost perfect from him into Kudos. Going to look for that left foot if possible. Ah, there's just too many bodies in the way. Finds Kudos again. He's going to knock it in. Ah, Kimpembe, such a good centre-back, honestly. Kimpembe, Marquinhos, them two together are just a nasty pairing. Very, very OP in this game. Rolls it in very nicely. Little pass back into Kudus. One more into Kudus. Can we find anybody back? Straight across, and that is a save from Mr. Donnarumma. So going into the overall for Kudus. So again, actually not a bad card, to be honest. Really took me by surprise from the moment we set off with him. Really good left foot on him. Obviously, the freestyle weak foot is, it is what it is. Would always prefer four. Um, I think four, four is normally pretty acceptable. And then five, uh, five, five or five, four is literally very very nice but in terms of what this card can bring very very good dribbler i think that agility balance is absolutely massive for this card and in terms of kind of like the upgrade you can see if we go from gold to rule breaker we can see obviously that big passing increase as well as the defended dribbling shooting and physicality and then just a minus three on the pace i don't think is necessarily awful because you are whacking that hunter on anyway so even if we say we look at the pace on this one it takes it up to 98 but Obviously, the, the acceleration's already maxed out before that, I think. Whereas this one, um, you're kind of getting the most out of it, I think. I think oh, it might have actually just maxed out on plus 10 anyway. But in terms of kind of what you're getting back, I think the Rule Breaker definitely is a much, much better card. In terms of Edivisier, like I was uh, kind of like saying at the start, you've obviously now got Till as a cam, Gravenbatch as a CM. You've got Brovers, or is it Brovers? Brovers. Brewers, I, I, I don't know, but <laughs> he's a CDM again, not necessarily the get most gifted player in the world, but as specials, more than likely squad battles. But maybe they throw some kind of live foot friendlies in there as well for an Edivisie team. You're starting to now build a decent team around him. Personally, we have um, a red Tadic, we have both player of the months, and obviously Berg Hoist. We haven't necessarily got Grab and Batch or these two, but once they kind of hit their minimum, um, like for instance, this guy definitely is his minimum, we will pick them up to whack them in the team just to kind of have them there ready and if needed they are at their lowest price anyway so there's never a need for them to kind of go down even more they are already at their lowest so when you've got players like that it's nice to kind of build a little special team around everybody so again it's sometimes just something to think about with icon swaps and that's really all it's going to be used for i don't think necessarily we'll get a massive uh, kind of go ahead with a Ghanaian team that just naturally doesn't happen um because i think it's just necessarily um they pick more of the major nations in terms of argentina they go brazil they go Germany so it's going to be a very interesting one to see where they go with these sorts of icon swaps objectives normally they stick to the same pattern um, obviously Prem um, or the major league live foot friendlies and then you get Air Divisie, um, you get Turkish League, Portuguese League and then something like Brazil, Argentina, Silvers in squad battles. But I think for most definitely you're starting to build a nice little uh, Ghanaian team. Obviously we got Boateng last week um, if you did manage to do him. Personally we left him just purely for the fact that he doesn't fit into the Bundesliga team as we already have a couple of specials already there. But then also you get the, str well, the strong link with Essien and then a lovely little link into AB Pele. So again, some, some nice links going on there. And as well, we can't miss out our man party from the Prem. But in terms of what this card can provide, he is more of an objective card more than your main team. He has got some nice dribbling on him, but I think once you kind of get into the big leagues, you go into Division 2, 1, Elite, into Foot Champs, I think he's going to be overran. So he is nice for the objective side of stuff, makes it a little bit easier. But in terms of where it counts, in terms of rewards of Foot Champs, I just think he's not necessarily hitting that right spot just yet. We did whack a Hunter on him, which I think is what definitely helps. Um, turns him into 
a very nice Cam at 89 rated. Very good overall. Obviously, he's already got the agility balance. Composure is not necessarily terrible for an 83. Um, ball control and dribbling, I'd say, is, is above average. Stamina was, was nice enough. I think 85 definitely does the ticket. And then he does have that nice pace of A plus 10. Overall wise for me, I think in terms of foot champs, I'd be looking more along the lines of a 7 out of 10, maybe even a little bit lower purely for that weak foot and obviously a couple of stats that you'd like to increase, but you've got to think he is only 83 and more than likely he'll start coming in at about 13 to 14k like his Eredivisie partner in this week's Rule Breakers uh, kind of team. But overall, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and if you want to subscribe for more content, I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.